Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to discuss all about how we can create a website with a login and registration form. So let's look at the, the project. So this is logo, menus, and icons. Have a content and button in the right side here. Login form, and when you will click on the register now, you will get another page. Everything is the same, but my form has changed now, right? And you can click on the home now. You are able to see the default pages in appear, right? So I'm gonna close my code project and open the code editor. And say that have all of the same thing that used to create a website or web page. This is a basic structure. And by the way, this is a script file, but we don't need that on this project, right? And this is styled CSS. So. Without further ado, let's get started. Write the code. So, step number one, you need to design the header section, right? So, inside that, I will use the image in a minute, uh, like this one. Image. Not this is a logo, by the way. And yeah, this is the image. So, I will use this one image as a background of this one project. So, I'm going to use header tag. In the header, I will use container to display the content in the center of the page. Now, logo. In the logo, I will use image src dot img logo. And outside of the logo, I will use ul ally anchor link. Lay the action is on about services and that will contact in the first one i will change the link as index.html because when user will click on this one link then who will redirect on index.html page but i need to use index.html right after that i will use the social icons and i will use class fa fa brands of Facebook like this one and the next icon I will use Twitter to uh, the third one I will use Pinterest and fourth one I will use Instagram so sir and open it in the live server you will get the result like that right so go to style.css in the style.css you need to reset the property padding zero box sizing border box and we need to select the body and assign the background and match your just a match image uh, bg image and I'm going to use background position center. Background repeat, not repeat. And background size, color. So sell and look at that. But I want to cover this one image in all of the my page. So I need to use main height 100 bh. So look at that. Next and yeah i'm gonna change the font family so i use power pins sans serif so and yeah everything is changed now also i'll use the overflow hidden because i i will hide the scroll bar when the scroll bar will appear inside the page so let's select the body i will use overlay inside the image so i need to select the uh, Pseudo selected before and I'm gonna use content none. Position is absolute. When you use position absolute, then you need to use position relative. And use with 100% high 100%. And I'm gonna use background color is RGBA 43 43 43 0 0.8. This is the opacity, by the way save and look at that but i want to dis display my content and i will use z index negative one then when content is up here right 
Let's select the container to display the content in the center of the page. So I'll use max width 140, 1440 pixel and yeah, I'll use width 100%. I'll use margin 0 and auto to display the content in the center. So and look at that. The content is a page center because I need to use the display flex property to manage this one. But why I don't need to in a minute, I will change my logo to xbox like this one right cool so i need to select the header and i'm going to use padding top and bottom 0.5 and left right zero because i i need to make a space in my header select the header now use display flags align item center and justify on the space between so my content is up here in three sections. First is logo, menus, and icons. Right. And I need to select the nav. And the nav have a logo. I will use. And the logo have an image. So in the image, I will use display block. Width I will use 40 percent. And object fit is cover. Like that, so and look at that right so let's work on this one links and the link I need, need to just select the navial display flags and a list of style type is norm to remove the bullets right and yeah I need to select the anchor link in my top and I will use text decoration as norm because I will use the many links inside this project so we don't need to use this one property many times inside my project. Alright. So now we all ally tag. <coughs> Sorry. In the ally, I need to use the margin zero and left and right 0 0.5 and to make a space. All right. And um, just a minute, I need to check. Oh, in a minute. Okay, here's my mistake. And this is a huge attack, by the way. Alright, so my content is up here in the center of the navigation. Right, so yeah, I need to select the uh, anchor link. Now you'll ally anchor link. I'll use color will be white and font size will is 1 gram. Padding will is 0. Point not 0 and 0 0.5 but I will use the hover effect on there when I hover the mouse on the link then I will display the underline right so I'm gonna select my UL tag and use pseudo selector before and use content now and there and I'll use top to move the 30 pixel and bottom move the 0 pixel height I'll use 3 pixel and use background color hash R2 at B463 so, and we need to use the position for light here only but also we need to use the position absolute then it should be displayed the length in all uh, okay I need to add the width by the way uh, because width is very important so I use width 100% so yeah it's up here but when I hover the mouse on the link, then I want to enable or uh, display the overall line. Otherwise, I don't need that. I, I use 0% and then I need to select the now I like hover column column before and I will use with 100% when I hover the mouse. But also I will use the transition all 0.4 SN and look at that right but I need to add another feature is transform translate X 50 pixel but when I hover the mouse I will display that 0 pixel so and yeah as you can see Right, but I will uh, use the, the way it is my 
I will make a space. Alright, cool. So let's move on the icons. In the icons, I need to select the icons there. Social icons I um in the eye I will use color is white all right and so and yeah and then I need to add font size 1.2 then I will use the margin 0 and 0 0.5 left and right I will use in the cursor is pointer transition all 0 0.3 as and and I need to select that I hover and in the hover I will use transform translate y negative 5 pixel and by the way I need to remove this one so hover the mouse perfect so this is our header section so let's move on the content section so in the content section i need to go on our this one index.html page and i'm going to use main tag in the main tag i will use same tactics that i use on top of my page container to display the content in center repair class and content in the content i will use two sections left side and the right side in the right side i will display the content or I'll display the form in the left side i will display the content the new h1 xbox series x and i will use or 50 after that i will use the this link and, and this left side and i will use the button tag to display them type is button and i'm going to use more data right so this is the left side in the right side we display uh, the form but before working on the right side i will work on the left side right so inside the wrapper i need to select the wrapper and i will use display grid and i will use align item center i will use main height 90 vh right to display the content in the center right everything is a center on my page then i need to select my content i'm going to use background color rgba double six comma 7373 comma 0.3 this is the opacity and i'll use the border radius 5 pixel and i will divide the columns like i will use display grid grid template column repeat to 1 fr and i will use grid grid 4m and i will use padding all side 4m font family i will use 4 pins not 4 pins ubuntu i'm gonna use ubuntu color is ddd say and look at that right so here are two sections left side and the right side on the right side we're gonna display the form right so let's work on the content comma left side p right and the p i'll use one family another on family power pins sensitive tax align justify margin one ram and zero and line height i will use uh, two right and first we're gonna save it and uh two yeah it's good but i need to work on this one adding and also we need to avoid this one because this is also um, paragraph tag so i need to avoid it so how you can avoid it you need to select it use colon and child and one i'm going to use 
margin set up and also I will change the font size in my top of the paragraph tag so one point two down so as you can see but why I'm able to save yeah in a minute yeah perfect so let's move on the content and the content have a left side left side h1 so font size i will use for them i'll use color hash uh, yeah i'll use the green color on there right so finally i need to work on the button tag right so in the button i will use content left side select the button i'll use display block mm, border border one pixel solid ddd cursor pointer outline none uh, padding i will use one one ram and four ram font family i will use four pins sensor there and i will use background transparent background transparent and yeah i will use color as ddd and font size I'll use one RAM. I'll use transition all transition all 0.3 SN out when I hover the mouse on the button then I'll change the background color is DDD color is 00, zero. black sir look at that right but I need to use the margin uh, top uh, 2.5 to make a space so you have a space in my content and I have a version there so let's move on the right side in the right side we're gonna display the form so uh, I'm gonna select my what login form okay and yeah i will select it and i'm going to use h2 login and form leave the action and this is input form div inside that i'm going to use input type is text placeholder enter and ml also use class form control so this is our first input field so i need to get it and paste the second time this will be password and i need to change it i need to use the password type is in a minute password and yeah so after that after the form tag i will use the form content and the form content i will display the span tag and in the span tag i will use the input type checkbox so inside the span tag i will use a remember i don't know this is a character not but and the anchor link I will use for get password. Alright, so save. And also we need to add the button tag. So the form content. And after the closing form content, I will use button tag. Type is button. And I will use it as a login. So it's an button. And after that i'll use the paragraphs txt register so don't uh, don't have an account 
please. We'll register now. So this is our form. So shall, let's look at that. Two input field, pattern, checkbox, and content. So let's move on the CSS to design it. So in the right side, right, and it's right side at least with 100 percent and at least box shadow right so the box is 0 0 20 pixel 20 pixel rgb mm, 43 43 43 so and look at that right so inside the box shadow have our content right so the next one is i need to select my login form in the login form I will use the padding to make a space to red so have a space inside the box shadow then we need to select the h2 tag h2 so in the h2 I'm going to use font size 3 ram color is white text align is sandal I'll use margin bottom to then cell look at that then I need to select my form control right so the login login form form control and say that I need to use width 100 percent outline none border is none form family of this four pins so instead of and padding I will use 0 0.5 and 0 0.9 RAM or margin I will use 0 0.5 and 0 and I will use the water left 4 pixel solid ash green color and font size I will use 1 RAM yeah it's perfect so and look at that right then we need to select the button tag but before selecting the button i need to manage our oh, this one content right so inside that i need to select the content from content i need to use display flags align item center justify content space between so have a space left side and right side have a space and also I will use margin 1 RAM and 0 to make a space then I need to select the what anchor link right so first thing is yeah I need to select the anchor link from content anchor link I will use color is DDD yeah it's perfect right and also I will use the space inside our input field so select the form content have a space inside my checkbox and or oh, remember me so i need to select the spin tag input field so i use margin right 0 0.3 ram to make a space have a space right now cool so let's move on the button tag and the button tag i need to select the login login form dot btn so i will with 100 percent outline is none border is none border is none background color is transparent and border is one pixel solid ddd means light gear color is white and uh, margin top make a space 1 ram padding all sides 0 0.5 and font size i will use 1 ram cursor is pointer and yeah i will use the transition as well so and look at that but when i hover the mouse i need to change the background color is ff and color is black so I'll look at that and also I need to change the font family as well font family is Poppins so uh, yeah it's perfect right now 
the last thing we need to work on the text area right so you need to select the form login form and dot I need to select the last one is TXT register so I need to change the background color and uh, no, I'll use text align is center and I'll use the margin one ram and zero so it should be display in the center yeah and yeah I will select login form and color link uh, color is green yeah it's perfect on um, both of the anchor links have a green color so inside it I'll use the anchor link is like this one but this is the best after that I'm gonna paste it so alright so this is our login page but when user will click on this one uh, register now then I will move on the next one page so what I need to do on there I need to create a complete copy of this one page so use register.html and paste it in the first one index.html page you need to change the link inside no just leave it inside the register now you need to use just a minute so go to index.html and when user will click on the register now so you need to change the link register.html page and also you need to change the link inside there when user will click on the login dot not login index.html but inside that i need to change the text this is the register now page i need to use login now have, have, have an account please log in right so also i need to change few things like this is a sign up form and this is a register form all right so i leave all of the same thing uh, but i need to include the one video is uh interior enter here username like that and the last one i need to change it to display it sign up so and when i click on that this is my register no, HTML page so inside that we need to use same design that I used on my login page so what I need to do on there I need to copy my register dot uh, underscore HTML page so where I use the login so I just use comma dot this one page and this is the heading to I need to use dot h2 right and yeah I need to use comma and dot form control right and this is content but I, I think I don't need to use that as a yeah I'll use it in there I will just now dot anchor link and and this is a btn login but we need to use comma dot register btn so sir and yeah also i will use it on there just to now vision power same styling and this is a login i need to use register txt so yeah it's perfect right now the same styling that i used on my login page so when you will click on the login now you are able to see the login page when you click on the register now this is register now so this is a simple and cool animation based website with login and registration form so thank you very much for watching have a nice day